Tuesday night means it's time for curling here in Stratford. It is draw number four in the 2012 Dominion Tankard. Mike Anderson and Greg Balsden getting set to go head to head. Good evening, everyone. Brian Teal alongside Lee Armstrong. And Lee, we're going to start off by taking a look at the standings. And Mike Anderson, he's not at the top. He's in third, but he is one of three undefeated ranks or undefeated ranks rather in this tournament. And starts with Howard and Corner both at the top with 3-0 records. There you see Anderson sliding in at 2-0 in sole possession of fourth place Higgs 2-1 and, and then it is a log jam of 1-2s. and twos. Balsden, Cochran, Keane, Shane and Tuck all with 1-2 and two records while Darrell and Gardner both at 0-2. But let's meet the two teams that are playing tonight. One is going to make an attempt to go 3-0. and oh. That is Mike Anderson. Mike Anderson's team, a young team just out of the junior ranks already making an impression this week in this tournament at 2-0. and oh. They're gaining confidence. They're gaining momentum. Let's take a look at the team at lead Sean Harrison second Matt Mapletoff the vice is Chris Van Hughes and the skip Mike Anderson well, I think uh, playing Greg obviously he came second last year so he knows how to play the game but uh, he's coming off a tough one against Howard so I'm sure he's going to be pretty hungry so we're going to have to go out and not get stupid but we'll definitely go at him and see if there's any of that hangover coming over so we'll see what happens now, Greg Balsden has had some success at this tournament. He's in a bit of a hole right now behind the eight ball at one and two. Let's meet the squad that's trying to get back to 500. Well, this is the 2011 runner-up team. It's almost the same lineup as last year, but they had a last-minute switch up at the lead position. However, still a solid lineup, and I expect some really good results, better than this morning uh, from these guys. So at lead, Jason Boyce, second, Tyler Morgan, the third, Chris Chisnoka, and the skip Greg Balston. Um, I'm expecting a good game. Um, we've played them a couple times before and we've had some good battles and uh, they make a lot of shots and so it, it's gonna be a fun one. So we've met Team Anderson, we've met Team Balsden. Let's go downstairs and meet the team of Al Galloway and Richard Hart. Gentlemen. Thanks very much Brian and Richard Hart. Uh, this uh, team with Team Balston, Greg Balston out there. Greg is a guy who tends to wear his emotions on his sleeve, and it's a long week, and sometimes maybe you need to keep those emotions in check. Yeah, that, that's definitely something that Greg should key on tonight. Uh, he's coming off a loss, and uh, hopefully he can he can he can keep his uh, cool head and uh, and be ready to go, and not let that be a factor tonight. And uh, conversely, you've got all the experience of Balston last year as the runner-up, but coming into it this year, Anderson has been here once before but as a lead his first trip as a skip yeah that, that's right Al and uh, that experience being uh, at this event previously as a lead probably isn't that useful um, you know playing the skip position totally different uh, but what is important uh, Anderson T and his team they've got two wins and that uh, that's a terrific start for them and uh, last but not least Greg Balston wants to remain in the <coughs> playoff hunt he's lost a couple in a row he's one and two if he wants to stay in that playoff hunt he's got to bounce back tonight that's right that's right Al uh, coming off a loss against Howard the, earlier this afternoon. Um, he's one and two. He came here this week expecting to be in that playoff picture. Um, he really needs to turn it around and, and get a victory tonight. Well, we'll see if, just who can get that victory tonight as we send it back upstairs to Brian Teal. Well, thanks a lot, gentlemen, and we look forward to this one. Anderson and Balsden in the spotlight tonight, but there are four other matches going on, as there are every night, and let's take a look. Daryl Shane and Chris Gardner. Gardner looking for his first win in this tournament at Omen 2. Shane looking to get to 500. Glenn Howard. Howard at 3-0. and oh, He is the man to beat. He'll go up against Mark Keane, 1-2. and two. Brian Cochran is 1-2 and two as well. Dana Durrell looking for her, his first win at 0-2. Oh and, and Wayne Tuck at 1-2, and two, losing this afternoon, going up against Jake Higgs, who looks to solidify his hold on fourth place. That's it for us. Coming right back with the first end between Anderson and Balsden here in Stratford at the 2012 Dominion Tankard. I'm, I'm unclear of the, of the call there. It, uh, you know, the weight was, you know, back for weight. And um, I, I would suspect that, that uh, you know, Greg wouldn't have missed a, a, a guard or a top 12 shot by that much. So they must have been trying to freeze one right in to the yellow. The angles still aren't great, but uh, I would I would say that you nose that blue center guard onto the yellow, onto the other yellow. You could uh, you could easily lie one, two, or possibly uh, set up for a, a, a bigger end. 
Yeah. Well, you have it. So, fair number of rocks that play right across edge. the sheets here in this opening edge. end. Throwing normal, right? Yeah. So they're playing the uh, the double on the blues yeah. here. Right. Hmm? Hit it just a hair high Close into the, the corner of that yellow one. Yeah. If we get lucky, we may get some action onto the back one as well. Can I wait? But he's uh, indicated he wants to hit this a little on the broom side, on the high side, and actually have it go onto his yellow rock. Um, let's see how this works out for him. A little high right now. So he hit that almost exactly where he wanted to. I think that he he misread the the angles there. I don't I don't really think that he wanted to go on to that yellow rock. Don't don't think many good things could happen from that. And uh, pretty bad result with a with a perfectly thrown rock. He had said he wanted to hit it a little bit on the high side, and that's exactly where he hit it. And um, didn't turn out that great. So. Still two to come though, so. That's for a bunch. No. That's for three. No. This one.